Hey everyone, thanks for returning to watch. Sorry it's been a while, but Cat got sick on New Year's and I've been looking after him for a while, but at least he seems on the mend now, so things are improving in that regards. So, while I've been off, I uh, kept playing some stuff on both the Xbox and the Switch, and, you know, even though I've got quite a few uh, gaming piles of shame, I did manage to finish off... Um, Bayonetta 1, which I've had for ages when I picked up Bayonetta 2, and I've also got Bayonetta 3 in the works, um, but I'm trying to play through them all. Um, so Bayonetta 1's finally done. I'll move on to Bayonetta 2 on the Switch really soon. Then I played Hogwarts Legacy and got through that okay for the main game, and Jedi Survivor, which I just finished a couple of days ago. Now, I thought I might play a random game from my collection today, so just trying out a bit of me mechanic simulator. Now, when I was growing up, um, I was a big fan of Battle Mech, uh, Battle Tech, and Mech Warrior games. So this one scratches a nice little bit of an itch that you occasionally get um, for repairing the mechs. And seeing as I've also got Mech Warrior mercenaries, I just thought, you know, this would be quite quite a nice touch towards that as well. So just going to wait for this to load up and then I'll give you a bit of a tour of the game. So it does take a little bit of time, but, you know, can't do much about that really so anyway i'll just keep keep uh plugging along here and we'll be able to start this up soon now basically main premise is um you're basically here to repair mechs and put them back out there for the people that you've repaired them. Now you've either got the choice of um, just taking the parts off, replacing them or, um, with brand new or actually getting to and doing some repairs. Now I haven't been playing too long but enough to have uh, unlocked a few features to get the hang of the, the game. Um, so I'll give you a bit of a tour around the, the actual office here and I can show you everything here. So this here is what's the main office so in here you've got access to your parts list so you can actually see all the parts that you've got um, on hand and any software which comes available later so they're the parts that you can use in repairs over here is the main desk so in here you can actually do things like you know look at the jobs that you can pick up you can run some of your company information so you actually get to design your logo you can actually change the workshop colors and you can also buy additional workstations that you use within the workshop itself the other item here is you actually have a stock exchange so you can actually buy and sell stocks at any time just so you can actually use this as a way to have some money available now, what I haven't worked out is how to remember how much I bought it for originally to then be able to sell it at a good price. But it does come in handy if you do find that up here on the right, you're running a bit low on the money and you need to actually make some more money there. Now, this fellow over here is the droid that basically gives you your tutorial work through. So he will actually go through and pick up mystery non-existent boxes <laughs> but he will actually talk you through what you need to know to actually play the game now give you a bit of a quick tour now down here this is the overall mech bay so your mechs will come in you've got a couple of repair stations and some other stations that um, you unlock around the room to be able to do your job now haven't found out what's going to go in here yet. As I said, it's still the early days, but let's come on downstairs. And this is one of the first units that you unlock. Now, this is a, called a decorrosion station. So primarily you'll have taken off parts that need some sort of repairs and you'll be able to actually select that part. It'll pop it in for you and what you're able to do is you can zoom in, rotate, 
etc and then you can use a laser to actually clean now what you have to be very mindful of is that you do not uh, over clean areas as you just saw every so often it'll flash up yellow in the top right which just indicates that I've overheated an area so you pick the worst areas and try to get the worst of the rust off without doing too much damage to the overall unit now this can take a little while but depending on the amount of damage that's here you basically have to get quite a lot of the rust off for it to actually give you a completion ratio now you're supposed to be able to adjust the size but what I find that I cannot remember is which way makes it larger or which way makes it smaller but at the end of the day we're just going to see what we can find of rust and I generally find that long you in the relative area of it it seems to do its own thing and get the rust for you okay so I'm just going to target the biggest areas first because often it will give you a, within a margin of a small percentage to actually make a completed repair now, obviously because you've either got to buy or repair items, it's sometimes not too bad if the damage on it was not too bad to begin with to actually just simply repair it and therefore you'll save yourself some money if you happen to need this you part You've been very quiet lately. And that's the other fact. The robot is a little bit gabby as well. He can be quite funny with some of the things that he comes out with, but yeah. Okay. Then, of course, once it gets to a certain point, it gets a real little bit finicky on going, yes, finding the exact right spots. Because you've got to look at all the ends and whole works just to actually pick up where I might be missing some rust and so far you can't seem to skip out of it now important thing with this everything uses fuel so basically you've got a running cost as well for like any business so if you run out of fuel you kind of need to top that up At least with the laser, it only uses the fuel as you're actually working on something. Whereas certain other things will actually run all the time, which I will show you some of that hopefully in the other mech bays when I get to them. But let's just rotate this around a bit. Oh, there's... Is that some rust there? No, that could be already damaged. And you don't worry too much if you actually cause more damage than not because you should be able to still sell it anyway. So you can see I've gone from 25 up to 57% on the repair. So that's not too bad. And I use 20% of my fuel. So at the moment I can just save that and that's fine. The other station that you get early on in the game happens to be the welding station. So over here is a laser welder that, again, uses fuel. A little bit of a catch-22 with the laser welder is that um, you're basically actively scanning a piece of the part and it identifies via that scan whether or not it's damaged. Now, when it is damaged, you just tag it and the system will automatically um, do the repairs a little bit of a catch though with those repairs is that it is constantly using fuel so you've got to be pretty quick in actually finding out where all of those repairs happen to be so this part really is very critical to be fast to actually scan through and find where it happens to be now 
down in this area here, we have what is the cable repair area. So you get a variety of cables and batteries that you take out of the systems and you actually need to repair them. So this is more a mini game style. So hopefully I might get one in a little while and be able to actually show you what that's going to look like. But um, in the meantime, there are three different styles of mini games. So the basic one just needs you to go through and actually uh, join the start and end together. The second one, which is, I believe, this one, um, needs you to actually join not only the start and end together, but some sub points along the way. And then the third one, as a trick, has the start and end and the sub points, but you need to connect everything except the sub points. So you've got to leave those blocked off so that power doesn't leak out. So that is basically cables and the charging bay for you. Now, when we come back out, across to this side of the shop at the moment happens to be a mech paint bay. So here you will actually be able to choose some colour schemes for the mech. Um, if the client has asked for it to be painted as an optional achievement for the, for the challenge, it will tell you what colour scheme and what specific colours to use and then you use that um, to paint the mech so you pick a base colour, you then um, paint it over the top but I found using the controller it's a little difficult to get some fine detail on there so really I'm just primarily been painting in a camo style so use the base colour, put some colours over the top but one of the end steps allows you to apply stickers, which I haven't currently done yet, but I know you can. So that's another feature that um, probably come in handy later. Now, another new feature that just opened up is what is over here, which is called the calibration bay. So after you repair a mech, um, you can actually jump in once it's repaired and run calibration. Now, Calibration is like a mini game and it's very cool. You actually get to play as the um, play in the mech itself, so you actually get to operate it whatever way it's meant to be. So I found that really fun. It's a very new feature. I've only done it the once so far, but the bonus is it will actually get you bonus money for it. So if you actually send it back to the customer in a good state of repair and also calibrated, they will actually pay you more. So that is where I'm currently at so far. The other small thing that I've done is you can actually get a tablet because otherwise you've got to run back to the office all the time to actually get your jobs. But in this case, I've bought a tablet computer um, as one of the first upgrades, which allows you to access it from anywhere. So let's take on a job. Now, obviously, all different money, all different types of um, different types of mechs by different companies. Now, what you want need to do is increase your standing with different companies simply because they're what's going to help you unlock some of the um, the additional work bays. And obviously, the more work you get with them, sometimes the better money that they're willing to pay as they put more work your way. So, obviously, you're going to do that for sure. So. What we're going to do here is you always start by accepting a job and what will happen is it'll do a bit of a loading screen which is a bit of a snooze fest of course but what can I do about that but as soon as it's actually been loaded in what you will get is your first image of the mech which will then have to have some work done to actually assess what is up with this mech. So let's go and check this out. So at times you actually have to clean it if it's really dirty before you can work on it. That again will use fuel in the terms of water and you actually have to get it clean to a certain amount before you can actually start the scanning process. The scanning is simply a case of trying to align the structures so you can actually Wow, this one is kind of the most difficult I've had for a while. 
There we go. So once those are aligned, it'll do a scan and it will show you where the damage happens to be. <clears throat> okay, so now we've actually done that. So what we're going to now look at is where the part happens to be. So what you have to do is unassemble it. So we'll just go there. So it's all in the control case. You then pick the workbench that you're going to work on and then it zooms into the mech to show you what you need to take out. Now, you do have to take off some covers and parts. So let's just do that. And take off that back panel, which it's going to pop out the work base straight away. So now that's been disconnected, we can actually go and work on it. Now, what you can do is check your work list. So the main task is to repair a part, but it also has a slightly damaged part, which it says to replace with a new one. So to complete this really well, we've got two parts, even though it says the critical one to get a success is to do one item only. Now, they're highlighted in purple, but so you can actually do this, you actually have to take the unit partially apart. So as you can see, as I'm actually doing that over the item, it shows me that, okay, can't take that off yet, but I need to take this piece out first. So let's just do that. And that's the CH. So we just need to take that one off. And as you can see, there's still a purple part inside that I want to get to. So what I need to do is just rotate the camera around a bit. Did you say something? And Did keep you? taking Sorry. things apart. I have too many tasks open. There we go. The and now I can get that MO module, which it's in pretty good nick. But as the instruction said, it wanted a new part put in. Now, each of the parts as you take them off have to have a specific uh, movement to actually take them out. So you've got to just keep an eye on that. Now, you switch to the build mode, which then allows you to put parts back in. So you can have a look at that. So we know that was okay, but they wanted brand new. So not a bad thing. I can repair whatever's wrong with that one and basically reuse it because it's at 68% that's actually not too bad. So there we go. You bought that from the market and now you just quickly go, yep, put that one back in. Now I know the top piece is fine. So I'll put that back on and I'm gonna exit out of here and go find out what repair CH03 needs. It's probably just gonna be a corrosion. Yep, and there it is. So just general corrosion here, top up a bit of fuel, confirm that, and as you can see, it's now in the bank tank, waiting for me to clean it up. So let's make a start and get this rust off. Okay, so. Ooh, that's a bit. Okay, that part's not coming off too much, is it? change the laser up a bit. <sighs> okay, as you can see, it has a little bit of a funny idea of where the damage happens to be to actually remove a lot of it. Occasionally you've got to zoom out because otherwise you can't laser the full area. Okay, and there we go. That's a good proportion over there. 
little bit on the inside edges. And nice, that's a good success rate, 32 to 74. Okay, now we can go back and put this back on the panel. Zoom back out so you can see everything. Put it back into the build mode and away we go. Select the part and you have to keep putting all the parts back before you can actually continue. Otherwise, it's not going to say you're able to put that back. So now we've got both tasks done. We can come back and put this back onto the unit. Simple as that. And then it is going to just get me to put the back control panel on. And that mech is now done. Now. Let's go give it a calibration and just see what we do here. Okay, so what you've got to do is you need to calibrate this to a certain value. So basically it asks for a little bit of a subroutine and the number has to equal something. But you don't know what the actual value is and the expected value are going to be. So... Basically, I'm going to put that in, add one, loop that for the three times, and then subtract three. I'm going to assume it needs to be zero. Thakura Technology mechs are known for their speed and agility. During their calibration, you'll need to navigate a holographic maze and reach the finish line. You have to do... Okay. Interesting. Where am I supposed to be going, guys? Okay, so not exactly clear where I've got to go, dudes. Whoa. Ugh. The no, yeah. Well, this is going to be interesting. So, was not expecting this. First time I've seen this particular challenge before. Definitely, given the time limit, not going to be done in time. Okay, I'm going to quit that one, because that one to me, pretty difficult, but as you can see, it's something completely different, so... The first one I did was with a mining robot, so it actually just wanted me to do some mining, so that was much easier. Now, once you are done with this, basically all you've got to do is just go to your computer and basically finish the job. From there, it's just going to um, elevate it back out and then give you a completion status. 
Now, as you can see, I gained some reputation, did an additional task. Um, so 8,400 corporation stock because I bought part and that is all good to go. So now that that is all done, I have the opportunity to go back and do new tasks. So obviously there are some other things. So there is the store. Now you can actually buy and sell items here. So anything that I've got, which is pretty low quality that I may not be able to use, I can you actually can go through and sell out. You will so that way I can freedom. make well, some room, make a little bit of money back. Um, but, you know, at the moment, it's good to actually keep the sock. If you do run out of money, you've got the option of a loan. So you can actually borrow some money, need to be able to repay that back. And there is the black market as well. Now, black market gives you some other stock options. Um, haven't had to use this just yet. So I think that will come into effect a bit later in the game. But sometimes these prices are better than what you get in the normal market. With your jobs as well, you actually also will find that... When you look at jobs, some of them will be for specific uh, grey listed items. These are people dealing via the black market and black ops, so they don't want anything really on the books. But yeah, it gets a little fun that way. Okay, so I had that one item. Let's go check out if I can repair whatever that part was and be able to get it working again so it's not needing welding so it may just need a bit of a clean doesn't need a clean either let's go check the electrical bays that's not wiring it's not that one okay so that part obviously doesn't need much repair or I don't have the workstation that I need to repair it and to be honest I'm not sure how I can even tell what the part was but that's okay ah, that was it yeah, you can sell the parts and get your money straight away from here if you want um, I'm going to hang on to that just in case I need it for one of the next jobs Let's try something else. Let's try working on a Minotaur. Okay, so. Got a new one coming in now. Let us see what this one's going to actually take to actually be repaired. So, this one could be completely different. So, let's give this a shot. Okay, so. This one needs a wash. I can see all the dirt as it came through, so it's going to need cleaning. So what you have to be careful here is that you don't want to use too much water, so it doesn't need to be 100% perfect. But you just want to make sure that I only get water on the parts that itself and not keep it on for too long. Rotate round to the back and just keep going there until it gives me all done. And then it just seems to automatically clean off the rest. There we go, scan is done. Nice, quick, and easy there on the scan. So, okay, I can see the left arm and the right leg. I've got some problems there, so let's take those off. Left arm is the primary. So it'll flash up what needs to come out. As you can see, part of the challenge of the game is when you is actually what do I need to take apart to get this thing to to be able to work on. So And it does give you these helpful 
color icons just to actually show you what needs to happen. Uh, the only one that I don't really like is when you actually add the repair bays themselves. The color is purple. Now, because there's a whole heap of other stuff there, it uh, has some issues that can be a bit hard to, to see, especially because these blue beams that actually show up. Okay, so need to repair that HY, replace CH, and as I was saying earlier, this is a repaint job, so it gives me a colour palette and the two colours that they want it painted in. So... Okay, so this one should be nice and easy to take apart. It should just need a couple of pins out. Don't you dare clear my memory cache! Have I told you that before? Uh, I can't remember. Although, yeah, this one. Ah, gotta take out the outside piece. Okay, that's that one off. And there we go. So that's the HY piece. Which I can repair. Yeah. Not sure whether it's going to need a weld or it's going to need de rusting. Let's de rust that. Got 80%, that should be more than enough. Now, round pieces are a bit of a pain as far as I'm concerned because there's a lot of inside outsides to actually work on them. So, Some of it only takes a very few seconds to clean. There we go, nice. So that part's now clean. Only used 20% fuel, so that's a bonus. Now we can come back and reassemble. Again, as you can see, as soon as you go into reassembly mode, it's going to tell you what needs to go in. Now, I already had one in stock, which I'd repaired before, but that's yeah, okay. I probably could have afforded to look at that first, but hey. As you can see, it just highlights all the parts that need to go back in. And that's now done. Now, the other one we need to actually replace with the new one. So let's see about that one. Okay, so it's this pin right in the back here. And it's a part that can come straight out by itself. So nice, quick, easy job. Okay, I've got two of those already in the shop, but they want new. So let's give them new guys. There we go. Now let's go put this guy back together. Connects the left arm back up. Then we just gotta plug in the cables. There we go, nice easy. 
right leg back on. Okay, let's go there. Now, next part they wanted is CPO4 with WO1 and YO3. So, let's come to the paint shop and give it a whirl. Okay, so, basically, scroll through your colour palettes here. CPO4. Okay, CPO4 with WO1 and YO3. So, all you have to do is close off the ones that you don't want. For the next paycheck, I'll get myself a laser cannon. There we go. And if you get it wrong, it's very blunt at actually telling you you've got it wrong. It will actually go through and actually show you that something is incorrect. So it's kind of handy in that regard. Now, as you can see, it's very much a case of you can choose your paint, then what way you want to paint. So I'm just going to use fill. It's pretty much already done it under that base coat anyway. So that's fine. Turn fill off. Now I can change colors and paint the others. Now I'm thinking I'm going to turn this around and basically say it's a white mech. As you can see, the fill is awesome, but it fills everything. Let's give it some highlights, so we... Now, if you want to do things quick, yes, you can actually come up here and change this brush size, make it a bit bigger and basically paint this whole thing really fast. Okay, let's paint this part. Fix this one back up, because didn't do such a crash up job on the painting of this one. Although I've just spilled over a bit. That's okay. Reduce the size. So obviously you can take as long or as short a time as you'd like on doing this. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it at the basics. Maybe just paint this arm. Um... Whoops. That's okay. And maybe let's paint the back. Okay, so once you've done that, you can then proceed to next. As I said, you can actually add decals to it. So if you select any decals, you can then choose where you want to put them. It doesn't really show up too often. But, you know, you could do that. And basically confirm it. And out she rolls from the paint shop. All nicely done. And at this stage, technically ready to go. So from here, you can either 
accept that and send it out the door or you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with it and see what the calibration option is on it so let's try this again Again, has no idea what the actual Vico Max are known for their use in the military. This means Oh, excellent. Okay, that one's done. Kind of tough there. No idea where I was supposed to stand, so that's okay. I'll find out more about that one later. So, again, it's not actually critical to the missions, but it does give you better money if you can do it. Okay, so that one's all done, and we sent that one on its merry way, and thank them for their hard-earned cash as they give it to us, so... Thank you very much, guys. Now, the reputation is important simply because with the reputation, that's how I'm going to unlock more features. So as you gain more reputation, you can gain access to the other workstations. So now it hasn't popped up that I have gained any, but let me have a look. On the station workshops, so I'm really looking forward to that. But at this stage, nope, nothing's there. Haven't worked out garage yet, but I know some of I the jobs like that are going to come up but I like are time limited I think jobs. We so take everything from you can the actually give it to me. Oh God, he is so annoying at times. Okay, so. Let's just do one more quick job and then we'll call it a day. So let's see exactly what this one's going to do. So, so far it's going to be interesting. Now, just in case you're wondering, I've actually changed my setup at my desk. So apologies if I keep looking off to the side a little bit more. Um, I've still got to get a new camera because I've set up this at my uh, normal workstation for work. And basically I've got to look off to the side to actually see the screen and because the webcam is at an angle it's looking at the side of my face so might be some minor glitches there and definitely I know if I turn my face one way it's going to look like I'm just not staring at you guys so anyway here we go another clean job okay there we go Now, this one, like I was mentioning before, is a black market job. So, 
reason to do black market jobs, as I said, was you can buy stock off the black market. It will actually probably be cheaper at times, and some of the parts are potentially rarer to get, I'm going to expect. So... This one is extra dirty. Okay. There we go. Nice. Gonna take a little bit to refuel that, but I better do that. There we go. Okay, so. Hopefully it'll be nice and simple. No, there's three parts. Even though it said one, but hopefully a couple of them are simply a case of... Okay, take the leg out. That's nice and quick. The other leg as well. Okay, so that'll be both legs now taken off. So now we can actually go and fix those and we'll come back for the arm later. Okay, so... Actually about four parts to repair. That's going to be a lot, folks. So let's try this one here. Okay, so, ah, nice. It's just this foot piece. Done these a few times. These are generally pretty quick and easy. Now, what part is it? Okay, so, I'm assuming it's that one that I just took out. Now, is this a repairer? Yep, they're happy with the repair job on that, so I'm just going to put in the spare parts that I do have already. So therefore, that's going to save me quite a bit of time and money in that one, and I'll just fix the other one later. Okay, so the others are all replaced parts with new ones, so that makes the rest of my job easier. Now, as you can see, a lot of the parts are deep inside So, this has some halting pins, so we have to take those out. So, as you can see, folks, it is not always going to be that simple to actually do some of the tasks. that one to begin with now this purple okay so I've still got to take off the base plate okay so that one will come out now so that's a cable and then I told him show me the money <laughs> that's what I told him Okay, and nicely, I just need to put in new ones. This will give me some good spare parts, simply because I'm going to be able to. Okay, so let's see if I can get it cheaper on the black market. Nope, doesn't look like this time. That one. Now, 
Now you can get different tickets, so there are different tiers there, as you might have noticed. That will then allow you to purchase different levels of parts. But so far, I haven't had to worry about that just yet. Okay, that's the two legs done, so now we can just pop those back together. Okay, now let's just connect the cables. Nothing quite too difficult, but you know at a stage where there is actually some missions that are going to come up with a time limit apparently so thankfully I haven't had one of those just yet but I'm expecting to have that issue soon which means yes you're going to have to get through it much quicker and I'm hoping it is just going to be a simple case of a longish time limit and most of it I'll probably want to have the parts pretty much to hand to begin with okay so which half of it's okay so it's the back part is gone on me so what do I need to take off There you go. How's that for tricky guys? That is just a small. There you go. Okay. Got a couple of these, but client asks for new parts I'll put on new parts now it's getting a little expensive here so maybe not always the best idea to give them what they want but I'm not currently going to take the risk of the company reputation in the game to actually muck around with it and risk them doing something very nasty there we go. So that's everything all completed there. Let's put it back on. Let's see if we can get a successful calibration happening or not. Again, it's a nice easy one if that's true that it expects zero ah as I said this is the mining one so just gonna remember What happens here is you're actually being bombarded with heat. So you have to control both the heat and getting the number of minerals that it's asking for. So, 
it's got a bit of a scanner that actually shows you where the minerals are so you can see them through the walls etc and obviously features to basically cool down with and calibration successful so that one was a win this time guys I'm very happy with that and surprised but I have done that one before so I kind of knew what I was doing the others not so much okay so Do you it's been assembled what trees look like now what you'll find here is when I complete this one it's going to give me some bonus money so that's going to be handy to um, pay off some of the debts get me my money in front so as you can see got the main task done got the full money there calibrations done and the additional tasks and I picked up a tier one ticket so that's going to be good and reputation gain is much higher with these particular types of missions. Now, obviously, the tier one now means on the black market, I can actually see any tier one items. Now, when you use a tier one ticket, it actually is gone. So therefore, you can't even see the page. So the hints recommend that you actually keep hold of anything that has that level on it until you get any more now seeing as i've got some parts let's go around and see what may be able to be repaired so therefore in the future i might be able to save some money okay so let's buy some fuel we've got a fair bit and chunk of money there okay this one is filthy okay there we go And perfect. That would be good if I just need to uh, replace one of those next time. Now, I don't think I picked up any wiring, but let me just check. No, no wiring. Nothing for this station and nothing for that station. So, there we are, folks. That is a quick run through of a little bit of a pleasure type game for myself i'm gonna be able to keep going on this and see what else i can do so hope you enjoyed going through my mech bay and seeing what was available but hoping everyone enjoyed and i will talk to you again in the future so have fun gaming and a great weekend thanks for watching bye